All right, so in this video, I have a detailed look and review of the Air Jordan 14 DB for Dornbecker, and this one was designed by Ethan Ellis. Let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals that I've curated for you guys, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Really excited to finally bring you guys a video on this pair of sneakers right here. This is the Air Jordan 14 DB, as I already mentioned, designed by this dude right here, Ethan Ellis. So I basically attended the freestyle event again this year. Uh, I did a video on that already. If you guys missed that, I'll link it in the description. But I have a recap of that event with the kids talking about the shoes that they designed. So shout out to my friend Michael and his wife and my friend Lena for actually making it work and getting me this pair. Because I couldn't attend the event at Nike Portland when these released. Um, I actually had my kid's birthday party that day. He turned four, which is crazy. Shout out to anybody out there that's actually been around on the channel when we did our announcement that we were having our first kid. That was over four years ago, man. That was, it's insane. But I missed the opportunity to get these and I missed the opportunity to see Ethan. But uh, thanks to uh, my friends, I was able to get a, a pair of these. And these things are dope, man. I'm so happy to add these to the collection. I did get the Panda joints already as well. If you guys didn't see, uh, I did an unboxing of the uh, the DBs in the Pegasus Turbos. Those are the only two that I got. But all of the, the whole collection was solid though, as they are every single year from the Nike Dornbecker Freestyle Collection. But this one though was kind of an essential for me because if you guys already know, I already have all of the other Air Jordan uh, Dornbeckers in the entire series. I've been collecting them every single year, so I had to keep it going with this one. And so I'm noticing some things about these that I didn't notice at the unveiling. The first thing is the iridescence here. I thought it was just all purpley, but you could see it's like a bunch of different colors, which is kind of rad. I think actually I can make the backdrop look the same. Let's see. There's a presetting on my backdrop that has this purpley blue look to it, so I'm using that. I already mentioned this freestyle book right here, but it has some information about Ethan. They called him the Speed Demon, and his hometown is Vancouver, Washington, and his diagnosis was a congenital heart defect. Here's some details on the design process, just kind of cool to see. And actually, we met one of the designers, this guy right here, uh, from Jordan Brand. Shout out to the homie. Uh, he was real cool, man. We talked to him at the uh, unveiling event as well. Ethan was born with a hypoplastic left heart syndrome, a condition where your left side of your heart is very underdeveloped. Although he initially thrived as a child, after three stage surgeries, 11 years later, his heart started to fail. And he underwent two heart valve surgeries, but ultimately needed a heart transplant, which he actually received at the Seattle Children's Hospital in 2019, which is why you see a nod to Seattle right there with uh, the Space Needle. So in Ethan's words here, it says, Ethan's design is a tribute to both the game he loves and the people and the places that were part of his health journey. The reptilian accents are a nod to this favorite team, the TCU Horned Frogs. The number six represents his heart surgeries, while the laces feature hospitals where he received care. Little Ray is a cool kid who was at the hospital with him being treated with the exact same condition, explains Ethan. Anyway, that's it. And you can see some uh, photo shots of uh, Ethan and uh, his products here. He also had a hoodie and a backpack. And they really did a good job on these, these uh, books, man. So this is Ethan. And you could see uh, Branson here. And, and so you could see the rest of the gang all inside of here as well. And every one of these kids was just super cool, man. Really, really fun process to be able to attend the Dornbecker events. And he actually signed mine. It says from Ethan Ellis uh, to James here. A shout out to Lena for having that happen. I was hoping that she would actually get um, a video of it, but uh, but she didn't see my message in time when I requested it. Anyway, you can see Air Jordan 14 DB on the box. 200 is the retail price. 9.5 is my size. And inside of the box, you could see some of the information that I just kind of explained to you guys. It's kind of nice that they provide something like that for, for those people that don't know what Dornbecker is. I pass by Dornbecker Children's Hospital like every day when I drive to work for my day job. Uh, but uh, a lot of people don't even know what Dornbecker is. So I will always love to be able to share that with you guys. So hopefully somebody new will understand that Dornbecker Children's Hospital is just one of those hospitals uh, with elite care for um, young, young patients. Uh, this is a look at the shoe though, man. Lots of purple in here. You can see the design on the bottom, which is kind of rad. Purple on the outsole with little hits of black. White for the Air Jordan 14. This iridescent thing is crazy. It's gold down here, but you go to the side and then look right here, it's purple. Kind of... Uh, Kind of wild. Purple on the side with that crazy reptile print. And then it has a double E right here with this little crest logo thing. Space Needle on the back of one. And then the six with the Jumpman on the other one. Some raindrops right there on the midsole, which is kind of cool. And actually in my other video, I showed you guys the alternate pair that which sold for some crazy amount of money. Uh, but it had uh, more of the raindrop print all over the upper. It was pretty wild. The, the alternate was really, really dope. And the box was crazy on it. It was just a crazy looking alternate. Uh, colorway. So on the laces it says Seattle and Dornbecker both because those are the two hospitals 
that he was treated at and the little ray on the back right there. And this one says 16 years old on the back. The insoles are actually mismatched like the laces. So one is white, the other one is black. And on the insoles, check out how vibrant that is. Go Sonics, go Frogs, go Raiders. Kind of cool little nod to some of his teams that he likes. You do have a lace pouch right here for the alternate laces, so white, purple, and then you also do have a set of black laces. So you can match them or mix and match them however you'd like. That's pretty much it for the Air Jordan 14s. What do you guys think, man? I think that this is one of those shoes. I think the, the first gut reaction that everybody had was, this looks like just a really cool looking Air Jordan 14. It doesn't look like necessarily like a kid designed it. Granted, he's older. Some of the other kids are only like eight, nine, 10, and he was 16. Uh, so when he's designing these, like he has like an older mentality to it, which in the interview that I had with him, he said that he was designing shoes like on 2K and stuff like that back in the day. So he was having that creative side flow already on some of the designs that you could do online. So he felt kind of natural with him transitioning and being able to design his own shoe, which I thought was kind of rad. But yeah, I think that, I mean, this, if you just looked at this at first glance, it looks like this could be like an all-star Air Jordan 14. It looks really, really clean. The fact that they did the reptile print on the side instead of the quilted Air Jordan 14 sort of thing that they do normally in the regular panels. I mean, they definitely change it up quite a bit, um, but uh, but I like what they did. And shout out to Ethan for letting me interview him when I met him last and um, nice work on your shoe, man. But leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite one from this year? What was your favorite one from past years even? All right, so leave a thumbs up if this is anybody else's favorite part of getting a new pair of sneakers right here. Oh yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day. And if you guys are interested in more sneaker videos, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of when my videos go live. See you guys for some more sneaker videos soon. Peace guys.